Hello friends. Welcome back to my channel. So it's been a long time since my last video was uploaded. So in today's video, I'll be uh, going through W3C actions uh, as many people suggested in my last video that uh, I should go in detail with the W3C actions. So here it is, uh, uh, the video is over and uh, I'll be going through w uh, in detail with the W3C actions and uh, We'll see what is W3C action, why we should use W3C action, and the different gestures uh, which we can create using these actions. We'll take a look uh, into the most frequent, frequently used actions, like uh, the tap action, uh, which is uh, tapping on a particular element, and uh, swipe action, where we'll be swiping on the screen as well as inside an element. Uh, may, element can be a scrollable view or a list view, uh, which uh, allows scrolling inside that element. Then we'll uh, take a look into the drag and drop action, which will uh, drag one element into another element. And later we'll be looking into zoom in uh, gesture, where we'll be zooming in on the image uh, and zooming out. So these two gestures will look together. And these will be covered in a series of video, uh, where uh, all these videos will be short videos, which will be easy for uh, everyone to follow and understand. <clears throat> so let's take a quick uh, demo about all these gestures in action. I have uh, a test case uh, ready, in which I will uh, demonstrate all these actions uh, uh, together. So let's uh, take a look at that. Here is a Android test case, uh, which will be executing on source demo application. And all the gestures which I just talked about uh, are demonstrated in this test. I'll execute this test. So here, all the clicks which will be happening in this uh, test uh, are the type gestures which uh, we will be looking into. And uh, with the swipe gestures and drag and drop are also demonstrated. If you are new to my channel, uh, I, my name is Vasik Bhamla and I have total 16 plus years of experience in the uh, testing field. So on this channel, I normally create uh, videos related to testing and test automation and tips and tricks related to test, auto test automation. So uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to get notified whenever a new video is posted on this channel. So let's uh, take a look at what is W3C action and why we should use uh, so uh, W3C, basically what W3C is, let's first understand. So W3C is a World Wide Web Consortium, which uh, has uh, uh, derived its own uh, specifications, you can say, which uh, the web driver, uh, Selenium web driver team is uh, uh, currently following. Uh, all these, uh, all the web driver instances which uh, are available in the market, they all follow these uh, specifications. So actions is uh, one of the specifications of, of this uh, W3C stack. And uh, in these actions, you can, uh, there are different sources which it supports. Uh, like uh, currently it supports the key action, mouse action, touch action, and uh, wheel action. So all these actions, it is supported in these actions. Basically this action is nothing but a low level uh, API, which uh, it is platform independent, and all the actions which you perform using this action API uh, will execute uh, seamlessly on web, Android, iOS, and any other uh, platform which is supported by the driver. So let's understand how these actions are created and uh, how it is uh, composed. So basically, here is an example uh, where they, are, they have uh, given an example of two finger gestures. So one finger is source one and second finger is source two. So the first uh, finger, what it does, it is doing pointer down on an element and it is pausing for five seconds. And after five seconds, it is doing pointer up. So basically it is pressing uh, down on an element, waiting for five seconds and doing a pointer up. So what does this mean? It is kind of a long press action. Second finger, what it does, 
it is uh, doing pointer down on a particular element. Then it is doing pointer move to a second element and it is doing pointer up. So this is equivalent to a drag and drag and drop action. So these are the sequence of uh, action which is being composed uh, on the way and it is being executed. If we execute a single finger uh, separately, yeah, then it is a single finger gesture. And if you execute both the fingers together, then it is a multi-finger action. And it will be executed simultaneously in parallel. So let's first understand uh, the coordinates. The coordinates, let's assume this as a screen. So the top left corner of the screen is uh, having a coordinates 0, 0. And the right, right uh, bottom corner is width, comma, height. So this is the width of the screen and this is the height. Basically, width represents the x coordinate and height represents the y coordinate. Now coming to an element, suppose there is an element on the screen and you want to swipe inside that element or you want to do any gesture in, on that element. So let's first understand its coordinate. So the top left corner of uh, uh, this element, it is a uh, we get a location. So when we uh, do a element dot get location, it will give you the coordinates of the top left corner of the element. And when we get the overall size of the element, so a size of the element is another width and height of that element. <clears throat> Suppose if you want to click on the center of the element. What you will do, you will get the center of the element by dividing this uh, width and height divided by 2. So that will get the center of the element. But uh, when you just pass that coordinate, it will not work because you need to also add the location. So on the screen, at which coordinate this, this element is located. So you need to add the location to that center element and that's how you will be able to press on the same center of that element. These are the different input sources which uh, this action supports. Uh, none means so basically you are just pausing, uh, so that uh, that's when none is uh, coming into picture. Key element, uh, key source is basically the keyboard actions which you are which you want to perform. Pointer actions are basically mouse gestures and finger gestures. Wheel gestures are related to mouse wheel. <coughs> okay, where you uh, do the scrolling on the on the page and uh, it is related to scrolling which you do using the mouse wheel. So this is the basic uh, uh, details about the uh, actions. Now let's, uh, mostly we'll be focusing on the pointer action because the pointer action is uh, equivalent to touch action. So what this uh, action provides for pointer? So here, uh, the pointer action provides these, these actions, pointer down, pointer up, and pointer move. So basically, pointer down means we are pressing on the button, mouse button, and the pointer up means you are releasing the button. That's pretty straightforward. And what uh, other thing you need to pass is uh, the coordinates, uh, the coordinates on which you want to perform the action. And uh, basically, we'll be using the touch because we are using the uh, finger gesture. So that's it for this uh, short video today. And uh, we'll be following up with part two uh, of this uh, series of uh, W3C actions. So in the part two, we'll be looking into the tap action, uh, like how we can do a tap action on the game. And uh, uh, later on in the upcoming videos, we'll see the, all the different gestures. So uh, you can share your thoughts and feedbacks in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. And uh, don't forget to click on the like button. And, uh, Share this video with your friends uh, so they can also learn something new about uh, the W3C actions. You can check out my last video here uh, where I had shown, uh, I show you like how you can uh, swipe till a particular element is visible on the screen. And uh, this particular video where I show you how you, how you can use APM Inspector. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'll see you in the next video.